So I found an albino rattlesnake. I didn't even realize we could get albinos of these exhibit animals. Uh, first, I need to sell all of my extras. Man, these guys are so good at making money. Yeah, I found an albino rattlesnake. So now we need another rattlesnake so we can have a breeding pair. Uh, let's get this one. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put down our albino rattlesnake because I'm excited. I didn't even realize they could be albinos on that list to buy. Because the uh, the exhibit animals, the little guys, like the lit snakes and whatnot, they're not from other players. They're just from the game itself. You know, the game itself generates them. You don't compete with other players for them. So, ooh, that's a little large. But yeah, so apparently there's a chance for them to be albino. And I think that's awesome. So we're going to put down our brand new rattlesnake. What color? This color, I think. Our zoo is still doing great. Our money is going up, up, up. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job at uh, maintaining my my uh, ticket cost to animal additions to staff ratio. I think I'm doing pretty good. All right. Now let's put in our brand new animals. Uh, no power, huh? Okay, hold on. We're going to... There's the power right there, so we're gonna just nudge it over. Yeah, that seems good. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, I want to just move the whole thing. Let me just move the whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, okay, much better. We're gonna put it right there. That seems good. Perfect. All right, now let's put our animals in. All right. Got our puff fatters. Got to give them all their little rocks and stuff. Oh, they need their humidity adjusted. At least their temperature is fine. And of course, fully researched, because I had everything fully researched now. At least until new stuff comes out. All right. Let's get closer. closer. Oh, there we go. Good. Now, where's my albino rattlesnake? I want to see it. Where is it? Where is my rattlesnake? I want, is it in one of the burrows? Oh, it's in a burrow. It's down here in a burrow. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's, let's take a look at our very first ever albino exhibit animal. Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, I've never had an all, I never even realized that they were a possibility. I'll have to start checking for albino snakes just because they're cool. Maybe they all have an albino anaconda eventually. Look at that little face. Oh. Sorry, I'm just in my... Ah, so sensitive camera. Sorry, I'm wasting so much time with the snake. I'm almost done, I promise. Just one more look at its cute little face. Oh, that's a nice angle. Dang it, there's a sensitive camera. All right, get the angle. Okay. There, how nice. All right, anyways, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, show off my albino rattlesnake. And we have successfully built our rhino exhibit with the peacock. Peacock and Rhino exhibit because they can be together and why not? Save sort of as he tries to trample the peacock. But yeah. Uh, great first beginning to our India expansion of our zoo. We have, by the way, uh, I guess I forgot to mention, we built an India e expansion right beyond the aquatic center. 
so I'm sure that's pretty exciting. We have rhinos, which again, I used rocks for the fence because they can't break it then, except I didn't delete the fence, oops. And we have flamingos. So see, right now our India zoo is, our India section is flamingos and rhinos and peacocks. I'm starting to add the more expensive animals. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to add next. I, I want to work up to the Indian elephants, and then I'm going to build an African pachyderm expansion and put in the hippopotamus and African elephant. And just sauntering along. But right now we have rhinos and peacocks. Or sorry, pea fowl and flamingos. But yep, this is our... Oh, llama is having a baby. I guess. Llama is having a baby. Yes, by the way, I still love my llamas. They are still the best. And I still have not been able to get a black wool baby. Like this one is brown wool. He's almost an adult. Llama, llama, llamas. Yes, I know, I keep showing the llamas. But I like the llamas. I haven't built their new exhibit yet. Still trying to get another black llama. But, uh, yeah. Making progress. Zoo is still financially stable, thank goodness. The rhinos don't seem to have impacted it too much in terms of, uh, its cost. Where's that baby llama? I was expecting- they told me a baby llama was coming. Waiting for the baby llama to show up. Where is it? Is she gonna have the baby now? There it is! Oh, it's not black. I want my black wool llama. It's gray with patches. One of these days I'll get another black llama. Uh, but yeah, so India. That's right, we were on the India section. What is, oh, how did you get out? What the heck? Mr. Arthur, how did you get out? I've made sure you guys can't get out. That's different. Anyways, uh, we'll let the vets take care of that. So, I have expanded my zoo. My. I now have, do do do, just gotta get angled, a petting zoo. Okay, it's more of a fake petting zoo though, because uh, the animals can't actually, I wanted each animal to have a path through its exhibit so people could pet it, you know? But it turns out all the animals I wanted to use could not actually be, have people in the exhibit. So it's a fake petting zoo. Just pretend that people can reach over the fence and pet them, okay? I put the fences down real low so people can actually reach over if they want, if the the animals were close enough. So we have the Gemsbok, or Gemsbok, or whatever it is. See? The fence is really low, and they can just reach over and pat it on the head. Now this one I got from the Steam Workshop, this petting zoo barn, but I made some additions to it. It used to be one exhibit, I split it into two exhibits. And what are you doing, guy in the yellow shirt? I don't know. But yeah, I made this into two exhibits instead of one exhibit. I changed all the plants, I changed the terrain. The only thing that's the same is the barn. But yeah, they can actually go inside the barn. So we have the camel side. Which I also expanded a little bit to the back. But yeah, camels. Hooray. Yay, camels. I have a little oasis here, which is nice. Yeah, this used to all be grass, and I made it desert. And then on the other side, we have our brand new llama exhibit. I told you I was going to upgrade them. Look at this nice exhibit. Isn't it awesome? We don't need that anymore. I'm still getting rid of some of the pieces that were in the original blueprint that I don't need anymore. Because this was meant for different animals. Ooh, are you going to go into the barn? Let's see. She is going into the barn. But yeah, they can go in the barn, people can reach over and pat them on the nose, all that good stuff. I think that's pretty cool. There's a baby. But yeah, happy, there goes the black llama, who still has not given me another black llama. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Get rid of this. I don't need that either. 
But uh, yeah, so we have the Llama and Camel Petting Zoo Barn. And then over here, once again, pretend, we have the Sable Antelope and the Thompson's Gazelle. The Thompson's Gazelle is the third deluxe edition animal, which I think is kind of an underwhelming one because it looks just like the Springbok. I mean, it's basically a Springbok. They could have really given us something a little bit more unique. But yeah, so then you keep going down this way, la di da di da and you get to our caribou. Oh, sorry, our reindeer. He's carrying a toy, aw. And he dropped it. Yep, we have our reindeer. And again, people can't actually pet them because they can't go inside the exhibit, but I put the fences down low so we could pretend that people could pet them if they go to the fence. And then, oh, here's not part of the petting suit, don't worry about that. And then here we have the dowel sheep who are chasing each other, apparently. Yeah, my little petting zoo, because why not? Bunch of animals that I can pretend that people are able to give pets to while they walk around. So that's pretty cool in my book. And then we, I expand, since I moved the llamas, I expanded the bison habitat. I connected it to the llamas old habitat, so now the bison have a lot of room. Isn't that nice? Look at how nice our zoo is looking. Oh, he is old. We need to get rid of him. Where is he? In here. Oh, she's pregnant. So I guess whatever her baby is, we'll buy a mate for, and that will be our new kangaroos. It's a constant management of... Uh, babies and old animals dying and all that stuff. It's a constant, constant maintaining it. So here's our lovely aquatic section, just like before. And then India, of course, just like before. But, you know, it's great. We have so many baby peacocks now, guys. There are so many. They're almost as bad as the gharials, but they have more room, thankfully. Yeah, there are. And we have a baby rhino. This is uh, adult rhino sleeping in the sun. And we have a baby. We have a baby rhino. Where are you doing? And they're sleeping in their food box, of course. But yeah, lots and lots of... Then we have this big fancy house, which I got from the Steam Workshop, I forgot to say. I had to get rid of all the plants off of it. So there's our baby. And then I think that's mommy over there and this right here is daddy maybe? I don't know. But yeah, we have a little happy rhino family with a little happy rhino baby. And lots of baby peafowl. Lots and lots of them. Yeah, I'm still working towards expanding to elephant. We have our food court now. And of course we have our flamingos, which I don't think I actually showed you guys. So we're going to zoom in again on the flamingos. I've been recording these clips uh, separately and then stitching them together, so I kind of forget sometimes what I recorded before. Doo -doo -doo. I decided my petting zoo needs iguanas. Why? Because that seems like an animal that they could take out of their cages and let people interact with. So the petting zoo is going to have iguanas. I had to find a place for them, though, because it's very tight fit. All right, that's a good one. Now we need, oh, there's not enough room there. Hmm. We need to move that path over. Maybe we could put over here. Mm, not a lot of room. All right, let's try to move this path over a little bit. Just hug this wall a little tighter. All right. Can I fit it in there now? Which one? This one. Oh yeah, now it fits. Perfect. Oh, I need to buy iguanas. Alright, let's buy some iguanas and also look for albinos. I do not see albinos. Now we need the other iguana. Oh, there's only one female. Well, I guess I know what female I'm getting. Man, all of these have really low fertility. Jeez. Oh well. Alright. There 
requires the green iguanas and Antillian iguanas. Perfect. The petting zoo now has iguanas. All right, so that's probably it for this episode. Uh, next episode will probably be once I'm ready to add in, uh, Indian elephants and finish my Wonders of India section. And then after that, I'm going to add African elephants and hippos. And then that's probably it for me doing videos on Planet Zoo until a new DLC comes out. But so far, I have a very self-sufficient zoo that can support itself, so it'll be a good zoo to use for future videos when adding DLC animals. So you can look forward to at least two more, one for Indian elephants, one for African elephants, and then I'll probably just do DLC videos. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I love this game. I love playing it. So if you guys want me to keep doing videos on it, let me know, and I can do more videos that aren't just when a DLC comes out. But I need to know that people actually care because it's a lot of work to do these because I play a long time and then I have to cut it down and, you know, narrate it and stuff. So yeah, if you want to see more after my plan to let me know. In the meantime, thank you for watching.